I got one big table by the window, but you all have to face this way. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And this is Two Neighbors. So Adam, what are we watching today? We're going with the late and great Robin Williams. This was a request by you guys, so thank you very much for the request. Robin Williams, live on Broadway, and this is titled Biblical History. So, all right. I think this is going to be a good one, I hope, because Robin Williams, he's fantastic. I love Robin. I miss his energy. I miss, yeah. oh gosh, I miss this guy being in movies in general. So, yeah, let's hit it. Because here's the drill. Fundamentalists take it to be the word, not translatable, not metaphorical, the word. In the beginning, Genesis, let there be light. Could that be a metaphor for the Big Bang? No, God just went clay. <laughs> <laughs> he drinks so, so much water. We're all yeah. descended from Adam and Eve, then we're all cousins. That's right. <laughs> here's the thing. There are miracles, though. There's miracles in the Bible. Like when Moses, and I'm not talking guns and Moses, no. I'm not talking, not Charlton Heston going, let the Jews go, the Pharaoh gets two in the head. No. <laughs> Charlton Heston, a man who said, guns don't kill people. Apes with guns kill people. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chucky, no. Second Amendment, it started off, it was muzzle loaders. People going like this, and this still continues. That's okay. <laughs> but I'm talking about the time Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go, and Pharaoh went, in your dream. And Moses called the God going, God, I need some help! And frogs fell from the sky. Maybe they fell from the sky, or maybe there were Jews with catapults going, no! <laughs> and thank God it was the Egyptians and not the French, because the French would go, lunch, okay? <laughs> Why should we let you go, you great caterers? I can't let you go, you crazy people, huh? <laughs> but frogs fell from the sky. At that point, I'd be going, get your shit now! The frogs, I said, wait a minute. That's what we should do. That's what we should drop on Afghanistan. Not bombs, not food. Fucking frogs. Frogs, lizards, hamsters, gerbils, shit they haven't seen. And if you want to get people out of caves, a shitload of New York rats. <laughs> New York rats would be going, hey, come on, raid. <laughs> I eat pussy literally. Bring it on! But that's what they dropped in. And even then, Pharaoh was not pussed. He was so pleased, David Copperfield, no. And then boils, and then firstborn dies. That's it! Hebrews, get out! And everybody, Banish Tari Noe, everybody! Hello, let's not wait for the bread to rise. Let's take the crackers and the skin off your penis. We're leaving! Excuse me, why the skin off our penis? We're traveling people, you don't want sand in there. Let's go! <laughs> and this is so passe, the dicky thing, forget it. Let's move! We're going through the desert, and then they get the Ten Commandments, would be adjusted by certain presidents. That happens later. And they get to the Red Sea there, the sea, the sea. And they go, what now, Mr. Magic? What do we do now? We're going to walk on the frogs' box, with the frogs' box. Frogs' backs. Thank you for watching me this far. <laughs> Obviously, I did inhale. <laughs> so... <laughs> what do we do now, Mr. Big Shot? And he calls to God again, and the sea pops. And even the most doubting Jew is going, you're good. <laughs> let's go, everybody. Come on, everybody. Let's move. Don't eat the shellfish. I'll tell you why later. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> to Jerusalem to start years of struggle, and later to Miami to fuck up an election. Let's go. I love Hashemmeh. But the sea closes and he calls to his cat like God, but his cat like God can't do shit because it's afraid of water. <laughs> and then there's another miracle. The night that Mary said to Joe, Joe, I'm pregnant. And Joe went, holy mother of God. And she went, you're right. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What a great name, Joe! <laughs> that is so much better than Shmuel. Way to go! I love you, Joe. Wait, hold on a minute, Mary. Hold on a minute. So I'm the stepfather of God's kid? Yeah. So I can't discipline him. I can't go, you've done wrong, because the kid will look at me and say, you're not my real dad. What are you doing, Mary? How did it happen? Oh, it's immaculate, Joe. Oh, it better be, Mary. <laughs> it better be immaculate. I'm sorry, I'm transforming Joe into Ralph Cranston. Ralph Cranston. Yeah. <laughs> It seemed to be kind of appropriate because up to that point, all the names in the Bible are very Jewish. You have Noah, Moses, Zebedee, and then you get Mary and Joe. 
We were just a hyphen it away from Mary Jean and Joe Bob. <laughs> we could have had Jim Bob, the son of God. <laughs> Praise to him, Jim Bob. <laughs> he who finds that stuff and gets me a job. Jim Bob! And here's the other drill. Jesus was an only child because, thank God, who would want to be Jerry, the brother of Christ? <laughs> That's a tough gig. Come on, Jerry, we're going to the beach. Oh, great, Mom. Yeah, Jesus is going to walk on the water, feed everybody, heal them, and get a whole bunch of disciples. I'll sit there with a rash and sand in my ass. Great day for me. <laughs> he ends up in a bar at the age of 30 going, yeah, I'm Jerry Christ. whoop de doo <laughs> Yeah, I got I, I got I healed somebody. Here, Spot. Come on, boy, heal. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, my brother. Yeah, Jesus, he's a carpenter. I'm a plumber. You do the math. <laughs> and people say to me, they say, Jesus wasn't Jewish. I say, of course he was Jewish. 30 years old, single, living at home with his parents. Come on. <laughs> Working in his father's business, his mother thought he was God's gift. He's Jewish. Give it up. <laughs> it's an old tradition. <laughs> If he was Jewish, and many of his disciples were Jewish, for the Last Supper, would they have not have gone out for Chinese? I think so. <laughs> Welcome to Yahweh, hold on. One moment, no service, no sign. Okay, you come in now. Hold on, you at 12. All I got is two tables of six right now. They're not together. Wait a minute, hold on. I got one big table by the window, but you all have to face this way. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Glowing, so I guess we won't need the lamp. That's right, now. <laughs> and you just turn a Sichuan chicken into a live chicken. You're that good. <laughs> and it said that night that Jesus turned to his disciples and said, One of you shall betray me. And Peter said, Is it me, Jesus? And Jesus said, No, it is not you, Peter. And Simon said, Is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned to Simon and said, No, it is not you, Simon. And Judas said, Is it me, Jesus? And Jesus turned and went, Is it me, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Thus you see two traditions beginning, Jewish sarcasm and Gentile humor, together, born <laughs> at that main moment. And the next day the miracle occurred, crucifixion, resurrection, and he rose again from the dead. And if he sees his shadow, another 2,000 years of guilt. Yes. <laughs> and here is for me the one big question. How do you get crucifixion, resurrection, and then chocolate bunnies, colored eggs? <laughs> How do you do that one? Even kids are going, rabbits don't lay eggs, what is this? <laughs> and you don't want a kid biting the head off a chocolate Jesus, that's not good. <laughs> uh, you don't want a little cream filled cross going, <laughs> no, you don't want that. And you don't want to be putting raspberry jam in the grass going, we're looking for Jesus, kids, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't believe he's gone. Yeah, that was great. I, that his was... energy alone is like, it's no one gone. else has it. Yeah. But he's like, you're you're laughing at something, and he's already three jokes ahead. He's just oh, yeah. so like so quick and so on point. And but the one thing in there is that he screwed up. Like he knew he screwed up. That part where he took him out and then he corrected himself. He like lost when he was taking a sip of water. He's like, oh no no no, sorry, let me go back. <laughs> Uh, he recovered that very well, so I'd really like to see if you guys know any stand-up comedians where it's documented where they like screw up their set. I want to see how other ha other com uh, comedians handle it. So send us some videos, uh, hashtag my request down below uh, with the URL link because that's something I want to see. Yeah, absolutely. And also, uh, while we're on topic, more Robin Williams. More Robin. So you guys Williams. have some more Robin Williams, like some real like gold stuff. He's got so much out there, but. Um, Obviously, little conundrum. I don't want to go and like watch this stuff because then I won't be like <laughs> reacting to it first time. So like, if you guys know this stuff, it's on you guys. Hashtag my request along with the link for Robin Williams stuff. The late great and great is the keyword there. Yeah. Great Robin Williams. What's what's um, your favorite movie of Robin Williams? So I know it's split chip. Mrs. Doubtfire is like phenomenal. Okay. Obviously, serious like, movie. Good Will Hunting. Good Will Hunting. Good Will Hunting. Yeah, I think you know he did a. Uh, uh, a phenomenal that job in it, but uh, to me, like, to me, like, Mrs. Doubtfire allowed him to like just be as out there as he wanted to be, and yeah. and he was too. You oh, know, man. so I Hello, love it. Dear. it was a run by fruiting. Here's <laughs> Bronson. Pierce Bronson. Pegs yeah. him in the back of the head. Oh, it's such a good scene. So good. That movie's <laughs> great. Yeah. Ah, uh, Robin Williams. We sit here forever it. and reminisce, but yeah, uh, let, let us know what you guys yeah. think. Uh, what's your favorite Robin Williams movie? We're definitely curious. Um, yeah, give us a favorite TV show, movie, whatever. Just what's your favorite Robin Williams? Good morning, Vietnam. Another one. Oh, 
I had a great one. When I got that on DVD, I was so excited and I watched all like the behind the scenes. Oh, stuff. really? I've never seen so the behind the scenes. I'm gonna have to borrow that. Yeah, you know what? That's what Netflix misses is like the special features. Yeah. Like there's no special yeah, features. That's good. They, they should have that. They should have special features. So if Netflix it. does that, you guys heard it here, it's our idea. Our idea. And we want one percent of their four hundred trillion dollar. I'll take I'll take point zero zero one percent. Netflix like no. No. <laughs> Shit. Instead, we have something else for you guys. We're gonna demonetize anything from Netflix that you post. <laughs> Netflix. All right, guys, uh, that's it for our show today. Uh, Brian, what else are they supposed to do? Like, share, and subscribe, please, guys. Yeah, please subscribe. It really helps. We're getting bigger and bigger every day, and it's really helping. So please, guys, hit that subscribe button, press that like button, and any other button that's on this page. That'd be Just great. Press everything in front of press you. Press everything. Not the close button. Don't <laughs> press that. And we will see you next time. Later, guys.